all welcome back to It's English Show Show. So this is part 4 of the 100 Difficult Words series. If you haven't seen part 1, 2 and 3 of this video, I've provided the link in the description, you can check it there. But if you don't know what the series is about, let me tell you. Actually, I have made a series of 100 Difficult Words with their meaning, pronunciation and example. These words are nouns and adjectives. So I have divided these hundred words into four parts, each part will be containing 25 words. So I've already uploaded three parts, this means we have already completed 75 words. Now this is the fourth and the last part. So if you want to watch that, I have provided a link in the description. I recommend you to watch those, the, all the three lessons because this series is really gonna help you to improve your vocabulary. You will be adding 100 difficult words in your vocabulary. So, uh, you must watch that. The quote of the day is, the prettiest thing you can wear is a smile. Now let's begin with the vocabulary lesson. So, the first word of the part four, or the 76th word of the series is, perfidy. Perfidy. It means disloyalty, betrayal, or dishonesty. For example, because my husband's pedophilia hurt me terribly, I served him with devil's papers. 77 word is bereavement. Bereavement. Bereavement means loss or grief, sorrow, hurt, or deprivation. For example, she was absent because of a recent bereavement. Bereavement. Next we have felicitations. Felicitations means good or best wishes or love or regards. For example, by bringing flowers on her nursing school uh, graduation day, the proud husband expressed his felicitations to his wife. Next, trajectory. Trajectory. Trajectory means path or track. For example, as of now, Jack has not decided which trajectory to take after high school, college, or the military. Eighteenth word is animosity. Animosity. Animosity means bitterness or hatred. For example, there is no personal animosity between the party leaders. Next, abnegation. Abnegation. Abnegation means the act of renouncing or rejecting something. For example, the school counselor hoped she could encourage her students to consider the abnegation of drug use. Next, we have camaraderie. Camaraderie. Camaraderie means friendship, companionship. For example, after moving to the new department at work, Henry realized he missed the camaraderie with his old co-workers. Camaraderie. Next we have iconoclast. Iconoclast. Iconoclast means critical, rebel, critic, sorry, rebel or questionable. Questioner. For example, when drunk, my uncle is an annoying inconlast who insults the beliefs of others. Inconlast. Next, we have umbrage. Umbrage. Umbrage means offense or annoyance. For example, he took umbrage at remarks. Next, we have invective. Invective. Invective means insulting or abusive. For example, because your invective hurt my feelings, I am going to stay away from you for a while. 86th, irreparable. Irreparable. Irreparable means irreversible or hopeless. For example, his eyesight may have suffered irreparable damage. Next, we have cordial. Cordial. Cordial means friendly, warm, or pleasant. For example, the hostess is very cordial. Next, we have convivial. Convivial. 
Convivial means friendly or amiable or companionship. For example, the atmosphere is quite convivial. 90 is fatuous. Fatuous. Fatuous means silly or foolish or childish. For example, what a fatuous remark. Fatuous. Next we have didactic. Didactic. Didactic means educative or informative. For example, his novel has a didactic tone. Next we have obdurate. Obdurate. Obdurate means stubborn, firm, fixed or inflexible. For example, she remained obdurate despite their pleas. Next we have inveterate. Inveterate. Inveterate means long established and unlikely to change or you can say deep rooted. For example, as a nurse, Phoebe has an inveterate desire to help others. Next we have bereft. Bereft. Bereft means deprived of or lacking. For example, the team now seems bereft of inspiration. Next we have emollient. Emollient. Emollient means moisturizing or softening. For example, almond oil is renowned for its soothing emollient properties. Next we have pellucid. Pellucid. Pellucid means clear, bright or crystallized. For example, she has a pair of pellucid blue eyes. Next we have solitary. Solitary. Solitary means done or existing alone. For example, I live a pretty solitary life. Next we have dolorous. Dolorous. Dolorous means feeling or expressing great sorrow or distress. I can say mournful. For example, the dolorous film made me recall sad times. Next we have splenetic. Splenetic. Splenetic means bad tempered or angry. For example, Mark was splenetic after his wife left him for another man. The hundredth and the last word we have is magisterial. Magisterial. Magisterial means authoritative or masterful or judge-like. For example, with a magisterial personality, the student bores all of her classmates around angering them. So, with this, we have completed that 100 words, actually 25 in this part. And the last third part contained 75 words. So, if you haven't watched those videos, I'll provide the link in the description. You can check it there for the part 1, 2 and 3 of the series. So, I hope you have added 100 new words to your vocabulary. These were executives announced. I may recall you. So if you like the video, don't forget to push the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.